Hi everyone, good to see you. So as you know, since leaving CP24, I've started to explore some of my other passions and that includes acting. I've always wondered whether it's something I could do. I've mentioned before in my blog and I'm gonna put a link to that blog somehow up here. I've mentioned that both my parents um, were actors. That's how they met. They met because they uh, they were the two of the founding members of the Black Theatre Workshop in Montreal. And so my, my dad danced and acted and my mom was a director and she did some acting as well. And I've always felt like I've had the bug, the acting bug. I talk about the fact that when I went to Broadway camp for the first time here in Toronto, is in Mississauga somewhere, um, that that's when a lot of my family members saw me become me. That's when I became who I am today, I think. I was always a very shy um, person, shy kid. I used to perform a lot as a kid, you know, in the living room, just pretend I'm in a market and all these different scenes and do acting with my cousin Becky. But I was never really an outgoing person until, like I said, this Broadway thing, this camp uh, that I started to go to, that is when I, um, I came into my own and my mom always says I saw it I literally saw your spirit awaken and it's something that I think about a lot about whether it is I chose the wrong path in terms of my career because I always knew I wanted to be on stage in some way and um, in front of a camera in some way I, I, I danced I um, was always in the drama club at school um, you know I was a public speaker I did those kinds of things. I was always attracted to those kinds of, of roles and um, I often wondered whether I really gave acting a full go and whether my parents' experiences somehow changed my desire to go down that, uh, that road because my mom <laughs> didn't do that at all. She ended up going completely different uh, and so did my dad in some regards. He's still very creative and stayed in the arts but I, I wonder whether that had any influence. So um, I've been acting, I do have an, a, an agent now, and I have for the most part been doing reporter actor roles. And I've been really fortunate to have been in some awesome productions, uh, TV shows like Designated Survivor and um, American Gothic, Heroes Reborn, I'm going to be in American Gods, um, uh, Orphan Black coming up. I've done some awesome things, Single Ladies on BT. Um, the movie Remember with the director Adam McGoin. So I'm so, so fortunate that I've had these opportunities, but it's only been in one area, reporter, anchor, host, announcer, TV, entertainment reporter, that kind of thing. Those have all been the, the roles. And um, recently when I left CP24, I said to my agent, you know what, let me try. I, w I'm, I actually want to try and explore some different things, commercials, acting, whatever. So I've been going out for auditions, um, you know, since leaving CP24 and I've shared some of my, my concerns with you because even though I have made this decision, I have not seriously, I don't think I've taken it as seriously as I should, as serious, because I keep saying that I need to take an acting class, but at the same time, I am, you know, finding my voice again, I'm doing my YouTube videos, I have my vlog, I'm doing introspection, there's a whole lot going on. As my friend Saran says, it's always hard to to grow and to be. You know, you're, you're growing and you're also having these passions you want to explore. So I haven't done an acting class. And that's something I want to do. So there's still lots of questions I have about what to do in an audition, how to perform. Um, and so when I made this decision that I was going to start going to the commercials and all that kind of thing, I don't know if I thought it through properly because I was in a situation today that has brought this all back into focus for me, this whole acting thing. So uh, I did an audition. Basically, you go to an audition. Sometimes they, they call you back. Sometimes they don't. I've only done two callbacks, including this one. This was for a commercial. Got a call back. Just to let you know, all the people, it was spe they specifically wanted black Canadians. So everybody there um, were, you know, black people. So um, got the call back, went. When I did the audition, I had to sort of pretend to kiss this, this guy who was my husband. We didn't actually kiss, but we were pre we pretended. We got there and then you kind of, something happened. Go to the call back now and the people announce 
Okay guys, All right, is everybody here for this particular one? Okay, so what's gonna happen now is um, we actually want you to go ahead and do the kiss. We want you to go through with the kiss. Um, and so everybody else is there and everybody's looking cool like, okay, 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 okay. And then I literally felt my stomach drop. It just dropped so hard because I, I had a small inkling when I left the house. I said, what if they ask me to kiss for real? What the hell am I going to do? Am I prepared to do this? But I quickly put it up my mind. Um, I, I'm a very spiritual person. I, I believe in God. I, I'm a very, very strong faith. And so this morning I was praying and I said, God, give me a sign because sometimes, you know, I often pray about what am I doing? Is, is it the right thing? And I ask specific questions about acting and getting certain roles and so forth. And I, add, I, I prayed about this particular thing and I said, give me a sign that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And every time I talk about God and faith and those kind of things, I get a little emotional. And I feel like maybe this was a sign. What do you think? Because what actually, actually happened was they said, if you don't feel comfortable doing this kiss, let us know. Um, we, we realize that we're springing this on you and if you don't feel comfortable about this, let us know because you know, you may not have to do it. We're gonna interrupt you anyway. And I um, let them know that I didn't feel comfortable doing it. It was something that I hadn't really thought about a lot, even though I made this conscious decision to, yes, start doing commercials and acting for film and so forth, but I, I don't know why. I just hadn't thought about it. As you know, I'm happily married four years, um, coming up in June. Victor and I have been together for 10, um, and I just, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Me personally, uh, a all my friends will tell you, first of all, I'm the most scornful person you know. So <laughs> I don't know if I could just kiss some random person. And I don't know how I would feel if the roles were reversed and it was Victor doing this. And um, I just don't know. So I texted my friend, my friend Saran, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh Jesus, Saran, the people now want us to kiss. What the hell are I gonna do? And so she's saying, well, what do you want to do? Is this something you want to do? Um, and then um, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> she's like, how far are you willing? Have you had that discussion? How far are you willing to go? Um, and I, it's something that I need to think about if this is, this is where I want to go. Because if I'm creating content, I'm doing my YouTube, as you guys know, I'm working on a big show that I'm going to unveil soon. Can I really do both? Should I really be trying to do um, serious acting roles? Um, or should I just stick to what I was doing before, which is what I get booked for, <laughs> instead of trying to do something else on top of what is happening now with my content and doing um, my own original content and so forth. So I'm going to have to think about this very much so because I've always said I want to be a screen queen, meaning I want to be on your small screen, on your phone, on TV, on p film potentially. And um, I don't know, no, if I'm not willing to kiss some random man, what does that mean? I don't know. So this has been an interesting afternoon. I need some wine now and I think I'll be okay. But I like having to think about these life choices and whether you're going down the right path and so forth. But um, I know I'm not sure at this time. If you're an actor, if you know an actor, if you have this kind of experience, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Um, I know my neighbor Corey Lee and uh, her husband they're both in the field and I always ask them, how do you guys make out? Like, how do you just make out with some other random person? And they said, it's acting. As a matter of fact, in the same audition room, when I was making my decision about whether or not I wanted to do this, this other girl came in and she, sit, she sat down and uh, the, a guy said to her, oh, did you hear they want us to kiss for real? And then he goes, you're cool with that, right? And then she says, yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. It's our job. And then I thought to myself, is it like is that what i've signed up for or i want to do 
I don't know. But obviously this is a discussion that me and my husband have to have a deeper discussion because I've been kind of just going with the flow. I need to have a discussion with my agent about this as well. But I just thought I'd kind of put it out there because it's something that's been on my mind today. But, oh Lord, let me know what you're thinking. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening and for being my, 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 pers my people to bounce ideas off and so forth. Have a great um, rest of day and I appreciate your support.